Walmart in Alexandria, and this is what they got for multiverse. And there's a random Jar Jar. And I don't even see no Marvel Legends anywhere. They're stacked with the Halo vehicles. There's one on top. And let's see what else. They are pretty stacked with Black Series. Oh! Ah. There is Frogman from the Stiltman Wave. And there's the rest of the wave. Dang, as always, I'm late. And this is what the bots are looking like. It's a Motu. And that's about it. If I see anything else, I'll let you guys know. And they do have the rock. But that's about it. We're in the pop and NECA section. And this is what they got for pops. Really nothing new. The only thing new that I see are Elvis Pops. Venomized Punisher. A few of the hard stacks. A couple of cute pigs. And there's a Chucky, LeBron, 10 inch pop, and they do got the Deadpool helmet, but that's about it. There's Bakugo and Stain. All right, I'm at Walmart and Clinton, and let's see what they got. Not a single multiverse for Legends. They just got Domino. On sale for 12 bucks. And let's see what else we can find. They're really stacked with Halo. And there's more, and golly. There's more over there. And let's see what we got. Star Wars. Nothing for wrestling. Just basic figs. And here's a Mae Young Elite. But other than that, that's about it. A few more bots right there. And if I see anything else, I'll let you guys know. I'm here at Target and Brandywine and even though the sky is clear, it's freaking cold outside and hopefully we can find, and it is windy, hopefully we can find some new Black Series. Alright, alright, we'll start with the Elites and all the guys, Bobby the Brain Heenan and the whole basic of the rock and John Cena. There's a Lana. I do need Quill. I think that's how you pronounce. And I do need Grief, but I'm gonna see which one has the better paint apps. And they do got some mo too but that's about it all right here's the whole portion of the video and i only picked up three things on this hunt first thing i picked up was this pop protector from oops backwards from the second walmart and i'm gonna put this mando pop in this hard stack and I know that this isn't the most popular or the most expensive pop there is, but that don't matter to me. What matters the most is that I like it. And that's what counts the most. And let me just take this out. <laughs>
There you go. And now Mando's in a case. There you go. And from Target, I had found Q. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's a side art. There's his bio, the other side, and there's the barcode. And the last thing I picked up was grief, side art, bio, other side, and there's the barcode. There you go, this was today's haul. Pop protector, cool, and grief. And I am supposed to be receiving a box from UPS tomorrow. So I'm just gonna include the unboxing in this video. But I will uh, take Quill and Grief out of the box and put him up with the rest of the Mandalorian Black Series that I have. All right. All right, here's my Mando section and let me give you guys a closer look. And I definitely need a case for this Target exclusive carbonized Mando. There's a big pin, Funko Pop. And the first Mando that was released. And this is what Kewl and Grief looks like with the rest of the Black Series from the Mandalorian. There's the armor. Mando in his Beskar armor, Baby Yoda, Cardoon, and IG-11. And I do got the heavy infantry on the way. There you go. Today's Thursday, January 21st, and I had gone to Target before I had gone to work this morning, and I am watching Big Bang Theory, one of my favorite shows, hands down. And what I picked up from Target was Lando, and I've been playing the long game on this big for quite some time. There's the rest of the wave, and he was on clearance for 10 bucks. And I needed him for my collection. And when I got home from work, I had received a box from UPS. And let me just open this real quick. And let me just put Lando back there. And what do you call this? I forgot when, but... It's a hot toy, by the way. There you go. MMS. What is that? 525. I don't know why. It took me a while to, um, what do you call this? Read the number. I feel like I did, but I do apologize. And I am just getting off from work. And I'm tired as crap as always. But the hot toy that I got right here. Uh, what do you call this? I did see it at GameStop once, and after that, I didn't. Uh, what do you call this? I didn't see him at all. And now, on eBay or Amazon or etc., his price went up, and he's one of the figs that I regret not picking up when I had the chance to. And at that time, I didn't want to pay the um, price point at. What do you call that at GameStop? But it is what it is, but what I got. Or, you know what? Let me just take the plastic out so there wouldn't be no glare. It's Qui Gon. And. There's the side. There's the back with the credits and the people that's involved in making this fig. There's Qui Gon inside. And I'm gonna cut this part of the video and probably do a overview video like how I did with uh, Luke right there. 
All right. All right, for some odd reason, I had a difficult time trying to set up the ring light to do an overview shot, but you know what? It's all good. And let me just unbox Qui-Gon real quick for you guys. And as soon as you remove the cover, there's a cardboard piece. There's Qui-Gon, he's about to fight Darth Maul. Let me just set that to the side. Remove this from the box, and it does come with quite a few accessories. And we'll take a look at the accessories first. And right here. I apologize if I don't know the correct term, but this is used for the hologram accessories that he comes with. And here's Yoda. And let me just attach Yoda to the... Um, and there's that look. Just put that there. And I've watched... A few videos of Qui Gon. And you know what? From the videos and reviews that I've seen, some people don't know what this is. Some people call it a hook. There you go. It comes with this right here. extra pegs here's a hologram of mace and hopefully we do get a mace hot toy that'd be really dope and i forgot the name of this ship right there here's the jedi communicator and he does come with extra set of hands Here's another two. And here's the last two. And let me just put these to the side. And those come with instructions. And right here our batteries and let me show you guys what the batteries are going to be used for and he does come with a cloak i don't think i'm gonna use the cloak on qui-gon and i'm pretty sure if you've seen other reviews and unboxings of qui-gon you know what the not cloak i meant to say poncho and he does come with an extra arm which is where you would put the the batteries so it could light up and he does come with I don't know the correct term or name but it's used to put around Qui-Gon's waist I believe so you could attach the hilt and there's a effect piece right there and And here's Qui-Gon's lightsaber. And here's a closer look at his hilt. And it does come with the base. Here's that. And let me just remove the tape. So there isn't no glare. And let me see if this is up. Oh, it's another tape. It says Star Wars, Qui Gon Jinn. There's a top of the base, pretty dope. Put that to the side and. Let me just remove 
the plastic off a of qui -Gon. And you know what? Let me cut this part of the video and remove the tape because there's quite a few. And I'm gonna pose them real quick and give you guys a better look. All right. All right, here's how I got quite gone. Posed, and here's a closer look at his portrait. And like always, Hot Toys, they do a really good job with their face sculpt. Here's a better look at Qui-Gon's sculpted hair. And his hood is has a wire in it so you could pose it however you want it. Here's a better look at his Jedi robe. There's his belt. And I believe you called this a tunic. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. This is a closer look at his boots. And I'm gonna put Qui-Gon with Luke for the meantime. Here's one last look at Qui-Gon's portrait. Um, I'm gonna cut this part of the video and show you guys what he looks like with Luke. All right, here's what Qui-Gon looks like in the detail next to Luke. Here's another look at Qui-Gon's portrait and Luke's portrait. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for the love and support as always. But more importantly, love you guys. All right, peace.